Hi boys and girls, how are you today? This is teacher Renika and today we're going to be having fun because we're going to be learning about numbers. But before we get started today, I would like you to grab your pencil, your paper, write your names, write the name of the day and the name of the month. And then we're going to get straight into our math lesson. Welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at numbers. However, we're going to be looking at one less than. So let me give you an example. So if you look here on the screen, we have four flowers. And if I take away one flower, I'm going to be left with three. Therefore, one less than four would be equal to three. One less than four would be equal to three. We're looking at one less than. All right, so keep that in mind. Let's go through our lessons. So on the screen, you're gonna see a number. Then we have pictures with three monsters. I would like you to look at the pictures carefully, and then I'm gonna ask you, to put an X on the monster that has one less I than the number. So since the number is four, we have to look at each of the monster and see which one of them has one less than four eyes. So the first monster has three eyes. The second one has one eye. And the third monster has four eyes. So which one would be one less? So look at it carefully. I'll give you about five seconds to come up with your answer. So look at them. You're looking for the one with one less than four eyes. Found it? All right. So let's see if you got that correct. So when we look at each of the monsters, we're gonna see that the one that has one less than four eyes would be the first one. So that will be the monster with three eyes. One, two, three. One less than four is three. One less than four is three. So if you Selected the correct monster, you can go ahead and give yourself a star. If not, I still have some more that you can practice on. So let's go. We're going to look at another one. So on the screen, you will see the number three. And then we have jars with paint brushes. I would like you to put an X or identify which jar has one less paintbrush than the number? Which jar has one less paintbrush than the number? So let's see what we have here. In the blue jar, we have three brushes. In the green jar, we have two brushes. And in the clear jar, we have over, let's see, two, four, six, seven brushes. So which one would be one less than the number three? I'll give you five seconds to figure it out and then I'm gonna reveal the answer. 
Take your time. Look at the brushes carefully. Think. If I take away one from three, what would I be left with? Let's check on the answer. So since a number is three, one less than three would be two. So the jar in the middle, which is the green jar with the two paint brushes, would be the answer. One less than three is two. Got that correct? I hope so. This is very easy, but in order for you to get it correct, you really have to think. Let's look at another one. On the screen, you can see the number four. I would like you to put X or identify the fish bowl that has one less fish than the number. One less fish than the number. So if we have the number four and we're looking for one less, which one would it be? The first jar that has three fishes, the middle jar with just one fish, or the jar to the end with five fishes. Look at it, think about it, and then I'll reveal the answer. One less than four. That's what you're looking for. You can also use your fingers. You can put up your four fingers, take one down, and you'll find your answer. Two seconds remaining. Completed? Awesome. So let's look at it carefully once again. We have the number four. We have three fish bowls. The first one has three fishes, the middle one, one fish, and at the end, we have five fishes. One less than four would be three, which would be the first fish bowl with three fishes. One less than four is three. Awesome, see, you're getting good at this. Let's see what else we have here for you. Next, we have pictures of houses. And the number on the screen is the number five. Put an X on the house that has one less window than the number. The number is five, so we're looking for the house that has one less window than five. So look at it carefully. We have the blue, then we have the one in the middle, that's a cream one, and the brown at the end. I'm going to allow you to look carefully at these houses and you really have to pay attention to the amount of windows on each of the houses. Remember, only the windows, we are not counting the door. So look for the windows only, count them, and see which one of the houses reflects one less than five. All right, I'll give you another five seconds to come up with your answer and then I'll reveal the answer as well. So look at it carefully. The first one, you have five windows. The second one, you can see just one window. And on the brown house, you can see four windows. Which house shows one less than five windows? Let's look at the answer. One less than five would be the house with four windows. For example, if I put up my five fingers and I put one down, it gives me one less. So right there, I can see the answer is four. Likewise, if you count it correctly, you'll see that the brown house has four windows. So if you had that, go right ahead, put your star. If not, that's okay. You'll keep practicing. And soon enough, you're going to learn it. Let's look at the next one. You have to take your time with this one. Here, we have some t-shirts. On each t-shirt, we have different numbers of spots. The number we're looking at is the number nine. I would like you to put an X or identify the shirt that has one less spot than the number. So if the number is nine, you're looking for the shirt that has one less than the number nine. So look at the spots, count them, and you find the answer. 
I'm going to leave you to do this one by yourself because I think you would have understood what's the concept and what we're looking for when we say one less. If it's hard to count the spots, you can put up your fingers, nine fingers, put one finger down and count the remaining fingers. I'll give you 10 seconds for this and then we'll reveal the answer. Found the answer? So the answer would be the first t-shirt that has eight spots. One less than nine would be the number eight. I hope you had that correct. If you did, great job. Great job on identifying all the pictures or objects that had one less. So this is what I want you to do for me. It's time for you to write. So I'm going to put up a worksheet on the screen. I want you to look at it and you're going to write what is one less than the numbers that are being showed. Now look carefully on the screen. You will see the number three, the number five, the number one, the number seven, the number nine, and the number two. What would be one less than these numbers? The number three, the number five, the number one, the number seven, the number nine, and the number two. So write your answer in the box or on the same line. When you're finished, I'd like you to show the book to your mom or dad and let them decide if you have it correct. Once you have it correctly, I'm sure they're going to reward you either with a sticker, maybe an ice cream, or a little bit extra cartoon time. Whatever it is, I want you to take your time, try your best. You can use your fingers, you can use counters, you can even draw objects, and then you can scratch one out. And then count the remaining to see what the answer is going to be. Remember, we're looking at one less than the number. So until we meet next time, I want you to take care, ensure that you're writing properly, and if you make a mistake, just use that eraser to clear it out and start over again. All right, boys and girls, until next time, this is Teacher Anika saying goodbye and stay safe.